The report is expected to reveal new gruesome details about the CIA's harsh interrogation techniques following the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks on the United States. The purpose of this review was to uncover the facts behind this secret program. And the results, I think, were shocking. The report exposes brutality that stands in stark contrast to our values as a nation. Some officials and Congress members are concerned that extremist groups will use the findings to support their anti-American agenda. They don't have to be accurate or right. They just have to believe it's true. And they'll take advantage of that. We know that uh, ISIL propaganda operations, this is, this is the mother load for them. The U.S. military has put thousands of troops on alert ahead of the expected release of the 6,000-page report, fearing attacks on U.S. missions abroad. This will, in fact, incite violence, and it's likely to cost someone their life. The administration of former President George W. Bush came under heavy criticism when some details surfaced about harsh techniques used in the CIA's secret prisons abroad following the September 11 attacks. The prisons were subsequently closed. But the new report is expected to reveal that the program continued even after being proven ineffective. Former CIA Director Michael Hayden rejected that allegation in remarks to CBS Television's Face the Nation program. To say that we relentlessly, over an expanded period of time, lied to everyone about a program that wasn't doing any good, that beggars the imagination. President Barack Obama earlier this year acknowledged that some of the techniques amounted to torture. We tortured some folks. We did some things that were contrary to our values. The White House says the president supports the release the of the report by the Senate the Intelligence Committee. The, the administration strongly supports the release uh, of this declassified summary of the report. Uh, the president, uh, on his first or second day in office, uh, issued, took the steps using executive action to put an end to the tactics that are, um, that are described in the report. The report is said to detail such extreme interrogation techniques as sleep deprivation and waterboarding, which simulates drowning. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.